Welcome, welcome to Victory Celebration Revival Children's Church, coming to you live from Victory Celebration Church. My name is Miss Dieta, as most of you know, and I want to start out the day with welcoming all my children that I usually have on Sunday and all the new ones that are watching. And we first want to thank God for this wonderful day and this wonderful opportunity. So all you children, get your Bibles. Miss Dieta is going to get hers. We're going to put our hands on the Bible and we're going to pray. We're going to say, Father, we thank you so much for your word. Father, it is our life. It, we have what it says we have. It is who we say it is. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for ears to hear, eyes to see, for the children to listen to the lesson that is being presented to them. And we just thank you for this glorious day. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, children, we're going to talk about the same thing we talked about for two weeks now, to refresh your memory. Miss Kaylee did a lesson with you about Elijah and the prophets of Baal. In this lesson, Miss Kaylee taught you that these people were serving a false god, and we serve a living god. And Elijah the prophet proved to the people that his God was living, our God. Then last week, Miss Dieta gave you a lesson on Elijah the prophet, and God had promised Elijah that if he went to the brook that he ordered him to go to, the ravens would feed and bring him food, meat, and bread twice a day. So here we are going over this again so you don't forget that God is our provider. That when God tells you he's going to provide for you, he does. Now this week's lesson is continuing on about Elijah, but it's about Elijah and a widow woman and her son. We're going to learn the, de the lesson today is about having faith, which means believing in God enough to share what you have with someone else. And we're going to start with Luke 4, 26. And this lesson was so important that Jesus talked about it. He said that, I tell you truly, in the days there were many widows in Israel during the time of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up for three and a half years, and there was a great famine throughout the land. But to none of them except the widow from Zarephath was Elijah sent to. So we see how important it is to pay attention to what Elijah is going to tell the widow woman. So we're going to start with the story now. It's a story of Elijah who we learned God sent ravens to bring food to. Remember now, we're in a drought, and the drought means there's no water, there's no food, and it's been going on for a long time. And the river, the creek, or, or the brook, you could call it whatever you wanted to, the brook dried up completely of water. There was no more water for Elijah to drink. So God spoke to Elijah and told him to go to the town of Zarephath. He said, there will be a widow woman you will meet who will take care of you, meet your needs. So what do you think Elijah did? He listened to the Lord and he went. So here we go, we got Elijah leaving the place where the ravens were and coming towards this town of Zarephath. And there he sees a beautiful widow woman gathering sticks. And he says to her, he says, widow woman, bring me a drink of water. And so she goes to prepare him a drink of water. He says, also bring me a small cake to eat. She turned around to him as she was going to get the water and said, Sir, by the living Lord your God, I have but just a little small amount of flour, a little small amount of oil, just enough to make my son and I a little cake that we could eat and then we would die. So this widow woman was very much aware of the famine that was in her land. 
But that's not the end of the story. The best part is to come. So he, the widow woman said, all right. He told her, he said, go to your house and do exactly what you said you were going to do. So the widow woman goes to her house. And there's her son. And there is her jar of flour and her jar of oil. And she does make the cake. Elijah told her to make the cake and bring it to me first. Then what's left, make a small cake for you and your son. Do you think that she shared her meal? Do you think that she was obedient to God and did exactly what the prophet from God told her to do? Yes, because there was something else that he said that was so important. He told her that if she would obey what the Lord had said, her flour would not run out and her oil would not dry up. And so guess what? She did. She did exactly what the prophet said. She gave him the small piece to eat and then she prepared one for her and her son. And as they were eating it, she looked and she saw her oil was full and her flour was full. So the lesson that I want you to take away from this today is how important it is to believe in God when he tells you to do something and to share. Share what you have. Share what you have with your brothers and your sisters. Share what you have with strangers, just like Elijah and the widow woman. And I just thank you, Lord God, for this day. And I want you to remember this little prayer that we have for you children to remember. Help me spend today with a smile on my face joy in my heart, joy in His grace, and my thinking cap on all day. So this helps you. If you put your thinking cap on, this helps you to remember the lesson that Miss Dieta just went over with. So thank you once again for listening. God is good.